All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to some more FTL Multiverse. This is a huge day and a huge video because Multiverse has just been updated to the big 5.0. You can see down here a massive, massive update has just come out. Um, there are a ton of new features. The main menu, I'm going to be honest, looks amazing. Uh, the old one was like fine, a little cluttered. This one looks so, so cool. Um, so already we can see there's just a ton of difference. So I'm really, really excited to jump in. Um, I, I have a, I've looked at a little bit of the features that have been introduced, but there's definitely a lot. Um, you know, the big things to take away. I think there's shops have been reworked. There's obviously a new main menu. There's a bunch of new HUD, I think. Um, added a ton of more blue options. Um, it added more ships for you and enemies. Uh, a lot of resprites on some older ships that now look super cool, I think. Added a bunch of new sectors. Um, I think it just kind of generally improved a lot. Uh, there's performance updates. Uh, there's a bunch. I'm like scrolling through without trying to spoil myself. And there's definitely, there's a lot, uh, a lot of changes as well. So <clears throat> I'm really, really excited to get back into it. Uh, we're going to take a look at all the ships and kind of decide what we want to do here. So yeah, if you guys are liking the FTL content and excited for this big new update, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It means a ton to me. And I appreciate every single one of you. Wow, this is already, look at this, like buzzes them. Nice. All right, new game. So yeah, as you can see, I mean, everything looks super different. The weapons have been respreaded a little bit, which is really cool. So let's see what we got here. Um, looks about the same. Same here. I'm thinking we might play the Engineer Cruiser today, by the way. I think uh, it looks pretty cool. And that'll get us closer to finishing this page. But let's see what else we got. We got this ship, of course, that we're still waiting. Oh, there's a new Zoltan paged ship, the Unidentified Cruiser. <laughs> uh, discover a lost colony and assist them to unlock this cruiser. Okay, cool uh some mantis stuff going on whoa the ember cruiser has been completely respreaded it's like wow it's crazy looking it looks very cool honestly i like the colors it's very like aquaman -y. i don't know um they got their cool robes we could play this ship i suppose what else do we got here um sylvan of course it's about the same oh i forgot i did remember after i ended the last video we actually unlocked uh, the shell cruiser here which is pretty cool the geniocracy one so it's got toxic gas, kills non-shell enemy boarders, zero and cruise immune. Okay, so it's pretty much like a um, murder bot dispersal, which is actually pretty good, to be honest. It's got conservative bomb, slow charging teleporting bomb. Oh, this is like a completely new spray. I was wondering why I didn't recognize it. That's cool. And then we got the whole laser 2, which is really good. This, actually, this ship actually seems pretty cool, honestly. I might, I might run with that, uh, but let's see. We still have no orchid or leech ships. Feels bad, man. Got our crazy Lanius stuff going on here. Does this look different? Eh, no, I think it's about the same. I thought it looked a little darker, but it does look quite cool still. We have a whole page here of just stuff we simply do not have. Um, that's cool. <laughs> uh, this is... Oh, these are the vanilla ships, pretty much? Okay, that's cool. Yeah, the big V. Okay, very nice. Vanilla Zoltan. That's new, definitely. Um, all this stuff. Okay, yeah, so there's... Oh, this thing looks complete. It did not look like this before, did it? This thing's new. Yeah, okay, so there's there's a lot going on here, definitely. Um, I think, actually, looking at what we got here, I think I am going to play the Engineer Cruiser. We'll probably do the Shell Cruiser next time, maybe, depending on if we unlock anything cool. Um, but I think I kind of want to try this out. So, what do we got here? We've got the Scythe Beam, which I'm not personally that much of a fan of. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do our best with it. Get Gets past shields, right? Because it's super quick. So... It's useful. I like beams in general. Conservative laser drone. Uses no power. Pretty decent. Uh, and a battle drone for anti-personnel, as well as three engineers. Okay. Got drone booster, which we can internalize. Uh, definitely going to do that, I think. We could sell it, but I think that's probably good to keep since we have a drone system. So, All right. Yeah. I'm really, really excited. Let's get going here with the Orville 171903. Oh, look at this. The UI is already so much different. Wow. I kind of like it. It's like translucent. Because what's cool is this lets you see your ship. Sometimes you want to see kind of what's on your ship. So I like this. Um, Federation. Yeah, so this is a kind of new tutorial thing or like some basic info for beginners. As you can see, I'm not going to read it because I've played a lot of multiverse and FTL. But I think uh, this is a really cool thing they added to kind of help new players. So let's proceed with our mission here. Okay. Okay. So, here we go. What do we take? Um, a weapon could honestly be kind of useful in this situation. It's pretty garbage. It'll just be like a basic laser. 
Well, I guess you can pick, but um, it does mean we don't have to use drone parts as much. I think I am actually going to do that. Um, and I'm going to take the... Do I take the ion? They all look, yeah, they're all super different looking, like their sprites. Uh, I think we take the laser. And then we'll do our salvage mission. This is kind of risky, but... Uh, let's... We have the anti-personnel drone, so if they come alive... Okay, yeah. So, I mean, not great. <laughs> but, uh... We actually have this thing, so we can go fight here. Uh, you come fix this. You come fix this. And then you can come help, maybe. Our drone can do a lot of the work here. Oh, man, you're getting bodied. Really, you should be... I can't really send him... I was going to send him to, like, the main spot, but... Doesn't seem to be able to be possible. That's okay, though. All right. Uh, we got a med bay down here. You come this way. There's no oxygen in here, so don't go yet. We'll have our drone continue fighting here. Actually, you can probably come in and help now. All right. You come heal. You come as well. We'll get everyone boosted back up. Wow. There's, like, new effects and stuff. This, this is looking real good. I'm really excited to see what else we can find here. Awesome. Okay. You guys come heal. You come to the drone bay. Get, uh... Get healed up. Okay. So, we definitely want Scythe Beam online. I guess we have to... Well, we actually probably just depower this guy, huh? I guess we'll let him heal up here. Klutzkin, you good? I depowered the med bay. Classic mistake. <laughs> okay. Alright. And boom. So, get everyone back. I like these positions, I think. Get the weapons powered and everything. Turn you off if we need you. I mean, luckily, he doesn't, like, break. He just kind of sits there, so... Um, that is good stuff. Now we can do this. We have two power for our drone, I guess. We got a blue jump button now. Very interesting. Everything just looks a lot cleaner. Oh my god, this thing looks crazy different. Wow. So, uh, from what I understand, if you press alt... <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah, so alt actually shows you all the paths, which is kind of interesting, because it lets you not worry about, like, you know, coming down here and then getting finessed. Kind of cool. Um, we can leave it on for now, I guess. It's kind of kind of useful. Um, merchant. I think we go... I do want to go to you, but you're in kind of a weird spot. Maybe we go... I think we have to go to the merchant. I want to see what he looks like. Wow, the hangar looks completely different, by the way. Very cool. Everything looks... What the... He gave me an augment for free. <laughs> He's got his own... Yeah, I read about this. They got custom Zoltan shields. So this guy's got his little purple one. Got some more icons here. High level threat. All of his freaking eight shield layers. Okay. Uh, I know we kind of need drone parts, but I am actually going to sell a fair amount of them because we have 24. I've re they put like a glowy effect. I don't really know exactly how to describe it, but it, it looks so clean. I really, really like it. Okay. So, it's got a lot of missiles, which is cool. Sobek Mine Launcher. Pretty decent. Uh, I don't think we're in the market for a, a lot of bomb weapons or missile-based weapons right off the bat. Oh, this is a level 2 one. Is, I don't know which one we started with. I think we started with the level 2. Because it's here. Okay, so we'll try to internalize this, I believe. Slip scanner. Honestly, pretty good if we can get a lot more fuel. But I don't think we need anything from Sylvan here. So let's just uh, continue onwards. And try to get into a fight. A distress store. Okay, we're going to go two jumps here. God, we have so much money. Okay, let's just get our shields. We're, we're pretty rich right off the bat here. Uh, probably didn't need to get that power, I suppose, but whatever. We'll uh, we'll send it. Let's see what we got. A pirate advances to your position. They are refusing all hails. Prepare for a fight. Let's do it. So I got two uh, lasers, which we're already immune to, because I made the top tier decision to get level two shields. So we're going to send this guy in, mostly just to take their shields down, right? And then we'll get scythe beam here um, in a moment, which is... Oh, that's, it's, <laughs> that's so cool. The beam is, like, white. This... I'm not gonna lie, it's all multiverse has always felt like FTL2, but with like the UI changes and how sleek everything looks, this does feel like it's now a new game in like a whole new sense of the word. Okay. Let's let our drone here shoot. And then we'll do that. Moves so quick, I love it. And we can actually just leave auto fire on because they are in a real bad way now. Plus the drone is gonna do his thing. I am very excited. I will also point out, when I first started Multiverse, I pointed out how the backgrounds on the ships, I wasn't a big fan of. It was kind of jarring. 
But they've kind of toned it down and it's more stylized. You love to see it. Okay, beautiful. So we're, I'm gonna try to get some heavy dronage going on on this run. Since we have a three spot drone bay and we already have it from the, the get go here, I'm gonna try to make that happen. Federation fortifications that have taken heavy damage. A couple workers are busy trying to patch up the damage. Let's see if they need any assistance. Um, I think we can afford, I'm not gonna, again, <laughs> anytime this event comes up, I just, I'm not gonna leave someone behind. So I'll, I'll wait, I'll, I'll double the uh, fleet pursuit to get in a fight here. So we're getting low on drone parts, for sure. But if we get drone recovery arm uh, at an empty beacon, we'll be real good. Because at the moment, we do rely on drone parts. And selling them was a calculated risk, I'm aware. But we're going to a store here, so we might be able to buy some. Should probably be able to sneak this in. Let's move so quickly. Yep. Yep. They're trying to run. They got this thing over here instead of up here. I like that. Very cool. And this guy should finish him off here. Nice. All right. A signal diluter. We are getting so many free augments. Huge. Um, so the slip scanner is actually somewhat useful. Prevent guards from calling ASB. Yeah, I don't really care about that so much. Um, probably sell that at this store here. So let's save the store. Let's see what we can find. Rescue the store. Okay. So what do they got? They got they got a fair amount of lasers, but I think we'll be okay. Let's uh, let's pop you out. If we get our weapon online... Okay, so we got a rebel. Just a rebel. Ah, that's cool, actually. It's not human. It's rebel. Less damage from the environment. Okay. Um, we can probably just fight you normally. I don't think we need to get the, the drone out here. And ah, Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Well, I kind of want my dodge, so just, just fight him. You'll be fine. Get some combat skill. All right, he's, he's kind of tough. <laughs> he's a little tougher than I anticipated, so you know what? Sure, get this guy in here and just ruin him. You come heal. Uh-oh. Not the drones. He got shut down. That's okay. This guy will keep fighting him. Um, put the power back in here. You come fix this. Just let this guy do his thing. Um... And then we'll fire. I do kind of want to hit their weapons, so I think we'll do this. There we go. One of their weapons down. They are now completely defenseless. Did not hit their shields, but they're not running, so we're not really in a rush here. You're doing all right. Yeah, you'll be fine. This guy's just trying to fight this robot. It's perfectly distracted. Love it. All right, let's get one more shot from the drone in here. And then end them. Perfect. Scythe Beam seems to be doing a little bit better here. You come finish this guy off. It, it had a tendency to skip rooms. Oh, another Scythe Beam, huh? Chain Energy. Also, so I said stores were reworked. One of the things they did is guaranteed that every store pretty much has weapons. I think it might not be completely guaranteed, but I think it's almost guaranteed that every store will always have weapons, as well as they did this. They broke systems up into two, so... Um, Auxiliary systems are, you know, the optional ones, the hacking, the cloaking, the mind control, all that we can see here. And then the essential ones are, I guess, more essential. I don't know, Columbia Crew Teleporter, depending on what other stuff, right? So that's good. So that kind of means it'll be easier to find things like cloaking, which is good. Assault drone particle beam. That's really interesting. Pierce mode, huh? Huh. Particle. That's really cool. That's definitely new. I have not seen that. Um, okay, well, I think we're. I still think we're okay on weapons, and especially since stores are now guaranteed to drop weapons, I don't think I'm that concerned. I'm going to buy one more drone part, get up to 10, just so I don't run out, because that is kind of a bad thing. I don't think we need two drones. I think I'll just keep the better one. Um, so I'll sell this guy. I'll sell the... I'll sell the signal diluter for sure. Slip scanner is okay at the cost of three fuel. Maybe we'll hold on to that. We do have, as long as we have one space, I think I'm okay holding on to it for now. This is going to get internalized pretty shortly here. You finish fighting this guy. There we go. Okay. I like having three engineers, not going to lie. Perfect. You come heal. Um, power this up, get him healed as well. You come back to weapons. Okay. 
I like the Engineer Cruiser, to be honest. I'm excited to see the B and C variants, which we hopefully can unlock. Um, turn this off. We'll let the drone heal up a little bit more. So, we... Both these supplies are really just not ideal. So I think we go like one, two, three, four. Ugh. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're going to probably miss out on a jump here, but it's okay. We should be fine. Small terraforming team is working on a nearby moon. Hails you. Uh, the Rockman captain appears. We require assistance. We will offer our assistance by scanning the planet. Dang. <laughs> Kind of knew it wouldn't work out, but that's fine. Another store. Well, we do have a fair amount of money. So I say we go one more jump and then down to the store. And then maybe we can afford something really cool. Who knows? Have obnoxiously bright blue hair and a smug glare. Didn't expect to see me here, did you? Haha, <laughs> that's right. I've returned. It wasn't easy tracking you through time and space. But now we'll end you once and for all. Who are you? Huh? You don't remember me? It is I, your arch nemesis, Leia. The infamous Beam Master. Mwahaha, well, you think you're so clever, always coming to ruin my day, but I'm getting smarter. You won't beat me, <laughs> you won't beat me this time, biatch. Okay. So the Beam Master with a mini beam. Beautiful. That's just so lit. Um, Turn you off. Get you going. This this, this is a meme event. I think this is actually new, um, to be completely honest with you. Yeah, Leah the Beam Master has been added in the, the changelog here, so... We're about to find out her deal. She's pretty garbage from what I can gather. Um, we definitely don't need to go for weapons, so I'll just do this, I guess. Yeah. Wait for our drone. Boom. Perfect. Okay, with their shields down, this drone should kind of tear into them here. Low level threat. That Okay. Any threats made by the captain of this sorry ship? <laughs> oh my god. Um, That's really interesting. I wonder how that works. Like, are certain ships just when they're made classified as low level or is it does it detect like what weapons they have and everything because she certainly was a low level ship there's probably more if you like crew killed or something but i simply don't have the capability right now because my drones were not on the right mode all right let's hit this store we got 113 which is pretty good um i think oh i wish i could see my map i can't remember if this will I think I'm okay. I think I'll just go to the market here. Let's also uh, install an internal upgrade on... Uh, what is our... Th what even is it? <laughs> uh, drone control, right. Drone booster. Here we go. Yeah, so get that in. Now we don't have to have that in our inventory, which is good. We can also... with. Uh, is it worth getting the scrap arm? I, it is worth, but it's a matter of... I want to see what's in the store first. Um... So, let's not do that yet. Okay, we got an orchid, a human, a Zoltan, a Zoltoni, chain flat gun. Okay, so it decreases its cooldown, which is good. Starts at 16 seconds. Uh, that's okay. Conservative bomb again. We got essential systems here. I don't know, man. I'm not seeing much that I like. Uh, this seems interesting for sure. Because I forget what the charge time on the normal flak is. It's like 12 seconds or something. Or is it... Maybe it's 13. I don't know. But I, th I think we're okay with really what we got. If we get this laser online, which is what I'm going to do instead. Uh, now we don't have to rely on our drone. We can just use the laser instead. Which is good. Because that way we can save drone parts for when we really, really need them. Outfitted with a supply depot. We got 12. Nice. Um, do nothing else, I guess. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but that's fine. Let's go to the exit, see what we got. We got the guard. Okay. So this guy can be threatening. They got boarding, which is not ideal. So we might power this baby up again. They beam in here. They're going into shields. Perfect. You come deal with that. There's only one of them, so it really shouldn't be a problem. Not having to use drone parts on them is super useful. So we'll just save our other drone parts and use our laser here, I suppose. I mean, robots got this, right? He's sort of got it, but it doesn't really matter. So we'll fire you here. That looks so cool. Wow. I really like that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. 
Do this. Nice. Okay, their shields are down. Defense laser can keep coming in, though. Oh, uh, yeah, we're winning this easily. Bump, 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 bump. And we got the drone booster internalized now. I mean, we always had it, I guess, but now that it's internalized, we're, we're boosting. Okay, these guys are done for. Nice, nice. That guy was not a problem at all. Having it. Oh, the Rancer Beam, or however you say it, Rancia. It's probably another ancient pole arm. Let's do nothing. Let me check that thing out. So, what's the deal with this? Cannot cause physical damage, but oh, it's the Breach Beam. Um, so, it doesn't do whole damage. Is that what we're saying here? It does pierce shields. Interesting. It doesn't do system damage either. It literally just beams. Or a bra uh, breaches, sorry. That is very interesting for sure. Hmm. I'm going to have to see how I feel about that. Uh, uh, forget that supply. Let's go. Okay, so we got a new screen here, as would be expected. They added some new sectors as well. Got a cool little key down here. Looking very, very clean. I like it a lot. Let's go to the Union Rim Worlds, I think. I'm not big on dealing with the Mantis at this time. So we'll see what we got here instead. Do something aboard the ship is a blue option. Oh, it's the slip scanner. Right, right, right. For three fuel, we don't have that much fuel. I'm not going to be doing it here. Um, so we're in a civilian sector. Let's contact the guard. We'll request some supplies. They are useless. Very cool ship. Wow, actually, like, staggeringly cool. It really looks 3D. Whoever did that, good job on the sprite work. So this is cringe. Um, we got a lot of nebula here, which is okay, but we don't have scanners. So I can't see if we're going to waste our time or not. Let's go straight for this uh, distress, though. Actually, before we do that, let's, uh, we'll depower you. Let's get another engine upgrade, I think. We'll hold off on the power, since, uh, we have some, some surplus sitting around. Let's see who is in, dis in distress. Pretty low on resources, to be honest. Kind of a bummer. We will hail them. A Zoltan ship suddenly jumps in. Okay. So, I think defense laser is fine. They can't really do too much to us here, if anything. And they don't have real shields. They only have the Zoltan shields, so. There it is, yeah. Very, very cool. I like that. Nice miss. I Everything looks so clean. Like, literally everything looks so clean. It's absurd. They did a really, really good job with this. Okay, the misses are a little annoying, but like I said, we can't really take damage from this ship, so. Might as well just wait. I'm going to save my beam. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to save my beam. I simply don't have the patience. By the time the Zoltan shield goes down, the Scythe Beam will be ready again, so. We're good. Just training up our uh, dodge guys. Okay, give it a moment. Give it a moment. Come on, baby. Oh. <laughs> Whoever's piloting this uh, this ship, man, they, they're, they got something going. They are quite impressive. There we go. Get them out of here. Okay. Now we should be able to finish them off pretty easily. So what are we looking for at this point? Our weapons are not that great, um, but they're good enough for now, especially combined with the drones. I'd really like to find like a powerhouse drone again. I'm not gonna lie, the uh, enter or the what was it called? Like the ion drone that we got, the, the toggle one, super good. Ruin shields, I really like that one. Okay, I think we come down and then we'll go back up. Really hoping to not get any ion storms. Okay. L O L. Uh, a plasma storm. I will actually just fight it because it doesn't have shields. Um, it cloaks. Automated. Cannot be crew killed. Depressurized. Emancipation grid. I see. Cool. Okay. Well, we'll wait. I think we actually pop this thing out because it doesn't cost power. We're going to take a hit here into our shields. Pretty bad, but it doesn't really matter, I think. Ion comes in on drones. Don't really care because actually this guy doesn't take power, so we're good. Auction is off, I am aware. Go for weapons, please. Nice. Okay, taking the ion down. Uh, I think they fired their... Yeah, their ion. I'm just going to depower it. That was not the play. <laughs> that was just not the play. Tried to avoid it. Okay, well, we're fine. We took a little bit of damage here, but... Just go like this. 
Nice. Alright, they should be done now. Good. Uh, depower engines. Turn this on. I don't want people getting too suffocated. There we go. Boom. And we got some extra ammunition. I love that when they uh, have that happen. Because it's always like, you found a massive cache of extra ammunition. Gives you one missile. Like, okay, bro. All right, you come heal. We managed to make that okay with the power. The conservative drone actually really, really helped there. So we need um, you powered. 109 scrap, huh? Okay. It's a slow burn for now. Not going to lie. I really like the icons here. Color-coded. Do something on board the ship. I'll do a salvage mission again with this. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's not that big a deal, but it is kind of annoying. All right, you come down here. Honestly, let's get everyone in here. The breaches can wait. All right. Um, we'll probably do a little hot swap in here. Like that. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, no, you stay, you come. Leave the drone in here. He can finish it off. You guys heal up. Fix all these breaches. There we go. You come back. Went pretty well, I would say. All things considered. Um, I think there's another breach. Let's actually get you to find it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay. You guys get in there. You come heal again. Bum, ba -da -bum. Getting some more crew would be nice. We're a little bit low. I mean, three engineers is definitely good, but they're kind of staffing all of our important stations right now. We don't have a lot of room for, for movement here. Okay, send you all back. Get our shields up. Get our engines up. Uh, Turn this off. I was like, where's all our power at? There we go. Okay. Still no stores. Um, I think I'm okay holding off on upgrades. I feel okay about most of this stuff. Oh, the Rancer Beam only costs one power. That's actually not that bad. But, uh... We'll see. It's good because it delays them being able to repair, right? But otherwise, it doesn't seem amazing. Still the onboard lab, potentially at some point. I think... Uh, let's get this scrap arm now, since it's uh, still pretty early, and we don't have a lot of el else to do here. No stores yet. Okay. I think we come back, and then we'll hit the nebula back up, and then go all around this way. What do we got? Enemy ship, apparently. Literally. The captain is shouting at the top of his lungs. Some of these rebels are complete nuts. That they are. Three lasers. As long as I don't time them perfectly, we should be okay. They actually, they have two layers of shields, so we're going to have to get you out, my friend. Should be okay. Okay, this guy's coming in. They're beaming in. So, really, I need y'all to come fight in here. And then I kind of need you to fight as well, but I don't have the power. Um, kind of a bummer. Hmm. Well, we got another one of these. What could we do here? I think we just have to let our shields... Oh, no, they're moving. Okay, that's fine, actually. You get in there, then. This is going to be a little dicey. Our shields are going to be in real trouble here, especially with the breach. So, I think if we get... Oh, we have to get our drone in there, but we don't have that much power to, to work with. So, let's get y'all back. Depower these two. Just get... It costs a drone part, but we... I want to have maximum dodge. Get you in here. So just to at least distract them, right? Okay, defense laser is up. He's probably going to get blown up. That's fine. Alright, here we go. This is going to be an important volley. We need to hit both of these. So, let's fire... Like now. Perfect. We come in. I need to take their weapons out, I think. But no, I need to take their shields out so that we don't have to wait for another volley like that. But we can hit quite a few systems. So that should be fine. There we go. Okay. Um, this drone's actually doing quite a good good, uh, good job here, especially because this guy's suffocating. Okay, their shields are still up. But that's fine, dude. You, you, do, you do you, man. He beam back. Just a 1v1 now, which is fine. Once this drone shoots, we'll go for their shields again. Okay, they're not quite down. Kind of a bummer. Our drone's going to die. 
but that's okay. Auction's still off, I know. We're okay for now. Let's open all the doors except this one. I don't want the the breach to hurt us. Scythe beam's ready. I'm gonna go for weapons this time so we can avoid the further damage. Uh, probably should be able to hit. Yeah, here we go. And there we go. They're dead, actually. Our drone somehow lived. Look at that. Wow. Okay. We don't have a clone bay this time, so this guy can go berserk and kill your crew, and I really just don't want that. So we're going to avoid that. Uh, close all these doors now. You two come fix this, and we'll heal you up. That did not go so bad, actually. I don't even... I think we took a little bit of damage. Maybe? Maybe not. Managed to make that uh, that happen. Oh, let's definitely turn this back on, though. <laughs> you guys come down here now. Now we can open everything. Get this auction back up. At the very least, we have these guys both up, um, so we can kind of not have to worry about the drone parts in the future. Okay. Uh, you were standing in the med bay not healing because it was not on. Pretty cringe. All right. And get you guys back. Close all these doors. Uh, depower you. And then we can repower our engine here a little bit. I guess we keep the med bay on, whatever. Still no stores. I guess we did kind of go backwards here. Let's go back in the nebula, see what we can find. We're looking for more powerful drones, more powerful weapons. This is an amazing deal. Oh my god. Especially with our, whatever it's called, the slip scanner, was that it? Or, or something? Next sector, we can probably actually afford to use a little bit of fuel. I want to go through the nebula to get the delay, but I also don't want to go in a nebula. We got, what, eight jumps? We can make that nine if we go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we'll do that. That sounds fine. Hit as many jumps as we can. Really the best strategy here. Make sure uh, we're getting our value out of every sector. Okay. They cannot hurt us, so we're good. No drone required. They only got... Oh, they boarded us. Where? Medbay. That is okay. You fight. It's a ghost. Phantom, rather. But that's okay. Dun, 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 dun. So we just gotta wait here. Really hoping we can lock some new ships. Um, we still have a bunch of the ships from the old version, obviously, that we don't have. But um, I kind of want to see if we can get some new stuff as well. So let's uh, fire this laser here. And then probably do something like this. Perfect. See, I think we only did four damage there. Maybe one of the damage markers was, like, hidden. But that's the scythe beam for you. It's a little hit or miss. Uh, don't fire this yet, please. We'll wait. Yeah, we're, we're kind of a slow burn in terms of offensive pressure here. If I use the drone part, it's a little bit quicker. But it's still not really uh, as fast as one might like. So getting a second weapon is something I'm looking for for sure. This guy really boarded back. That's actually okay. Because we can just have our drone finish him off. Alright. Alright. So this is hilarious, to be honest. I'm really hoping they, yeah, a lot of enemies board into the drone control. Because, I mean, they're just going to get ruined. Like, <laughs> my god. Okay. 94. So we're going to go here and then down. Should we make an upgrade? Uh, the ran we could get the Rancer Beam online, I guess. It would help, but I don't think it would help that much. God damn it, another one of these. This is why you want to uh, scanners. We will manually search. Look at that, the Lucerne Beam. Okay. So, I'm going to be honest. I think I would rather use the Lucerne Beam. Because it can do more damage. Let's see, this charges 16 seconds. This is actually charges faster. Um, It can do more damage and... The Scythe Beam tends to miss rooms. It's a little shorter, I guess. Eh. Let's put it up here. Maybe we can decide on the fly how we feel. Um, turn you on, please. Okay. Uh, well, we got something out of that, so it was worth it. We're going to come down here. Out of the nebula. Into some open space. You find a Slug Cruiser and a Rock Cruiser. The classic event. So, we could take whole damage here. Or we could take whole damage if we do this. Oh, is this this is a new option, isn't it? Let's try it. You're right. Okay. The Rockman captain seems rather ungrateful for your assistance and still bent out of shape by his unsatisfactory reactor upgrade. Um, Bro, I don't want to pay it. You know what? Let's try it. Whatever. 
Okay. With some scrap of your own, you work on the Rockman's reactor to spruce it up. Still a cruddy job, but at least you aren't as bad as the slug sludge gushers. Yeah. It's a very reluctant compliment, but you can tell the Rockman appreciates it because he returns carrying a gift. Okay, you know what? That's not that bad, actually, because this probably shoots, what, two projectiles? Yeah. I mean, that's just, like, full stop better than this. Obviously, it takes a little longer to charge, but we got to wait for the beam anyways, so hell yeah. I really like how they changed hull lasers in uh, FTL. Like, having a one projectile, or a two projectile for one power, and then the level two with uh, three projectiles for two power, so much better. They're way more usable. Scythe beam or lucerne, dude? I don't know. Uh, we'll rock with the scythe, I guess, for now. It is pretty quick, but it doesn't... I don't know. Okay, enough with the freaking plasma storms. We did get something, at least, which is good. Uh, but there's no ship, so we can fight. They're in the med bay, which is pretty hilarious, so we'll just get all y'all in here. And make sure it's powered, of course. Should be able to take this on pretty easily. Yeah, I think my favorite part about the UI change is how kind of glowy everything looks. I really, really like that aesthetic. Like, the particles here, you got the cool um, hazard signs, even like the kind of glow that we got going on here. Really, really cool. Definitely dig it. All right, you guys are getting stomped. Should not have gone to the med bay. That was your first mistake. Also, your last. All right. Uh, let's make sure our shields are online just in case. Never know what we might run into. One, two, three, four, five. We actually get another whole jump, but I don't think we have anywhere we can really go. So we'll take the L on that one. That's fine. We still got quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of time here. Absolutely, we're going to intervene. We're going to do nothing that way. Get you back online. They actually have a lot of hull, so I am going to go Lucerne on this one. Power this up. Um, they can hurt us for sure, but we'll see how they make it happen timing-wise. So we'll do this. And then we'll pr uh, probably go like this, I think, for the damage maybe. I don't know. Nice miss. Good. Perfect. Nice. Okay, lots of damage there. Shields are down. They should be toast now. All right. This is going very well. Nothing crazy has happened yet, but I'm feeling the makings of a great run. And I really, really like how the, sh the engineer ships look. I think they're super cool. So very excited to keep running this one. Our weapons are kind of slowly upgrading. We do only have three slots, which means we're going to have to rely on drones more likely than not. Hacking is something I'm really looking for as well. Oh, I wanted to get the uh, drone recovery arm. That's what I wanted. Um, we'll offer our help. We'll give him some fuel because we actually do have quite a bit. Another <laughs> Rancer beam. Oh, my God. I mean, we're, we're selling that for sure. We're selling both, to be honest. If we can find an empty beacon, we will get that drone recovery arm. I knew there was something I was forgetting. They can't hurt us, but they do have teleporting. So, drone bay, drone bay, drone bay. Oh, my God. Love to see it. Well, we don't need to dodge, so we'll just power you up and take this guy out. Do this. Uh, put you here. Do this. Okay. Wow, that guy got murdered. My God. Okay, we should. Come on, whole laser. Get him out of here. All right, that went well. Take you off. 20 scrap. I'm actually really hoping for an empty beacon. It doesn't really matter. Um, we're not relying on drones yet, but I want to be able to use drones in the future. All right, this could be good if we can find a new crew member. So let's fight these dudes. Got an adaptive laser, a whole laser charger one. Another teleporter. Are this up, I guess. Where are they going? O2. Okay, uh... I do need my dodge, but come on. He'll get there in time. Yes, sir. All right, you just distract them. Our weapons are charged. Probably should have fired them already. I hate ships with layouts like this. Um, I do need these weapons down pretty badly, so I'd say we do probably this. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, yeah, we're good. Uh, robot. Not doing amazing, but um, that's not really his point. He's just trying to distract them enough. 
Yep, for that to happen. Perfect. Okay. Uh, go for shields this time. If we can keep these down, then our... Yep, there we go. Burko, you know what? I'll take it. He's kind of boring, but I do want some more crew, definitely. So you're just a regular human, correct? God, we have so much loot. Yeah, okay. Um, I will say I'm just going to, you know, get it out in the wind now. You are going to be the first to go if we get maxed out crew. But for now, Burko, welcome to doors. Actually, go to shields. Let's, let's be smart here. So much money. I think we're going to make some upgrades here. Let's check the storage. Um, on drones. Or no, it's an arm. Oh, it's an arm instead of the scrap arm. Uh, probably still want it. Do we, though? We don't use the drones that much. We're not entirely relying on them. We don't have the best weapons, obviously. But I think we can manage for a little bit. And I think I'd rather get the early game scrap kind of advantage. That way, later on, we can either swap... Or we can just have a bunch of stuff. So I kind of wish I explored, but... Um, we can still get something. Breach sealant is pretty good. We don't have that much fuel, though. Maybe we'll just get... Uh... They also, in the update, tell you what level you're at. So that's cool. For seven missiles, let's get... Oh. Never mind. <laughs> I always forget about that. Well, I kind of finessed myself out of this, then. Let's just... Uh... I don't know. You know what? Fine. Let's get uh, let's get breach sealant. It's pretty cheap. We're a little low on fuel, but it's pretty useful. And we, I wanted to do something instead of waste my time. Let's go to the next sector here, and we'll call it for this uh, video. Both NG sectors, so we'll go to S18. Gives us more options in the future. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're excited about the new version, what else we can find, what's been added, everything like that. Uh, again, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're liking the videos. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. See ya!